Norwich Boxing here with Sam Sexton. Um, just finished a tough little session there. How are you feeling, you know, two weeks out? I'm good, I'm always feeling good though, do you know what I mean? We, we train hard, uh, we play hard, that's the way it is. We've spoken about it many times before. Um, the name that we mentioned before was Anthony Joshua, that's sort of gone now. Yeah. Um, you had a bit of a, there was a dinner um, locally, Anthony Joshua was there. Did you get yeah. a chance to speak to him? You know. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we I took the mic and you know, and I sort of called him out. Not, you know, I wasn't disrespectful at all. I just called him out. I said, "Look, you're the man to beat. I want to, I want to fight you." Um, obviously, he's looking at bigger things. You know, got Charles Martin, which you know, I, I think he'll beat Charles Martin. Uh, I don't think have any pro problems with him. But then, where does he go from there? He's got to fight everyone now. He's got, he's, he's got to fight all the world, the world champions. And I don't think he's ready for the world champions yet. Um. So, Andy Joshua is sort of out of the picture now. You'd think that the British title would become available in the same the Commonwealth title. Yep. Um, another name that's sort of now starting to appear is Parker. Uh, Joshua, Joshua Parker. Joseph Parker. Um, could be a Commonwealth clash there. Um, do you think that's a route that he would take, or do you believe he's looking at world level now? I think he's going to try and jump the gun like everybody else, to be fair. I mean, I, I've always said you can't call yourself the best unless you beat the best. Joshua was the best in this country as far as I was concerned. I wanted to fight Joshua, but now he's, he's, he's just going to leapfrog everybody and fight for world levels. So, um, who else is there to fight in this country, really? Dylan White, back from injury. Um, again, you, you know, sort of building back into things. Yeah. Um, but something that could happen. And another name that you can track into the hat is Price, looking to rebuild. Been there before, but who knows? It could happen again. Um, yeah, maybe. But, yeah, um, I don't. I don't think um, White will be be around just yet. I think they'll try and build him up a, a bit more first. Um, maybe Price. I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't. I don't really know what 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 people are doing at the moment. I don't know what um, Price is doing. Um, I mean, have you, have, do you know he's been active, or I haven't heard anything Apparently about he's him. back in the gym. So. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, maybe that's a, that's a fight that could happen again. Then, yeah. Um, Ryan Walsh has now defended his British title. Um, we've got two British champions in the gym yeah. now. Um, it's something that you've always wanted to do. With Ryan bringing that British title back to the kickstop gym, is that something that sort of spurred you on that little bit more? You know, obviously the hunger is always going to be there. Yeah. But to see someone else, a stable mate, someone you've trained with for near enough your whole pro career, yeah. like, is yeah. that, does that spur No, it is good, you know, because I can remember like Ryan. <laughs> Ryan and Liam being around, sort of like, you know, they were then coming up as I was like on top and stuff, and then they always gave me loads of support, and I've always done the same for them too. And that's just good to see, and especially two brothers as well, who are so passionate about the sport. So, yeah, when I saw like Ryan win that, I was so chuffed for Ryan because I knew it really meant so much to him. Um, so, so, yeah, I definitely want to get in there, and I want to be the third person to hold the British title in this gym. I was, wasn't there, unfortunately, in the last fight, um, but I've heard that the sort of old but improved Sam Sexton is back now. Um, what can people expect to see on March the 4th? Every time I get, I, I get in the ring, I, I mean, I just I try my hardest. It doesn't matter if we're training for a six round fight, a 12 round fight. I'll always do, I'll always train for, you know, a championship fight. That's just what I do, you know, I don't want to leave any stone unturned. So, I, I don't know, I just, I just want to be a crowd pleaser. I want people to come and, you know, people who are paid, local fans. I want to put a good show for them. Everyone understands that boxing is sort of something you do in a gym, but you have to do stuff outside the yeah. gym as well. Um, where do you go? What do you do? do you, any um, other gyms? People help you along the way? Well, there's a few people I've got to sort of like thank, really. I mean, especially my missus, Natasha Gilson, you know, aka Miss Motivate UK. Um, she preps, she preps all the meals. She's taught me a lot about diet. I mean, a hell of a lot. Um, I'm, I'm actually heavier now. I get so many people say to me, oh, you look like you've lost loads of weight. But I'm actually a lot trimmer. She, she's got me on this, this diet. She's shown me a weights routine. Um, and she's just good at what she do. And then, like, you know, I've got my... And my one of my sponsors is uh, Sync24 Fitness. Or Fit Sync24 Wellness. And uh, they, they give me some great products. I always feel good. I've got one here with me now. Um, uh, also, B&F Gas Services. You know, they're, they're a sponsor of mine. They're a money sponsor which helps me to sort of train and concentrate more on the training rather than having to go out and earn money and work myself. I can just be in the gym. I can concentrate on just being in the gym, you know, all the time. Is there any other gyms that you train at weight-wise for your weight, 
fitness work, like your cardio work? Or yeah, I mean, I, I, I train. I train with John over Virgin Active. Uh, we do we do some good sessions over there. I mean, John really knows his stuff when it comes to, you know, um, like the good cardio sessions and weight sessions too. Um, it's a different kind of thing to what Natasha does. Natasha is just uh, concentrates on um, just just turning my muscles, what I've already got, turning that fat into muscle. Um, John is more fitness stuff. Um, I train. I mean, I train at different gyms. I train at the Phoenix Gym sometimes. I train up at um, Style on, on Bear Street in Norwich, where Natasha works out of. Um, so there's, there's plenty of places to train. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, best of luck yeah. once forth. I'll see you there. Yep. And um, yeah, we'll see where the journey takes us. Good there. stuff. Thanks Cheers, a lot. Thank you.